Raymond, it's that time of the year when we see delays on the metro due to low rail adhesion. Can you briefly explain what causes this? Low rail adhesion is an issue that affects many operators throughout the world, uh, particularly those who run their trains in and around areas where there's trees and other forms of vegetation. Fundamentally, it's an issue of friction or the lack of it between the wheel and the steel rail that trains run on. Now, what causes this is the vegetation round about the railway network, wherever this happens to be, uh, turns into a thing that we call mulch, which is almost like a Teflon type non stick um, substance. And that reduces the friction and it causes two main problems. Uh, on traction or moving away from a station typically, a train will start to slide. And on braking, a train can also start to slide. So in many respects, this is the equivalent of what motorists would experience during the winter period with black ice. When low rail adhesion occurs, what can customers expect? Firstly, um, safety is our number one priority in the Metro. And what we do is we make sure that the drivers drive cautiously during this period. Uh, but trains will still run to every destination. They might run slightly slower, they might take slightly longer, but the most important thing is our services are still there serving the public day in, day out during this period of low rail adhesion. Nexus has invested in new technology to offset the impact of low rail adhesion. Just what are we doing this year? Every year we review our results and we try and get better for the next year. Um, so over the last few years we've invested hundreds of thousands of pounds in a railhead treatment train. The vehicle that you see standing behind me is also one of the bits of kit that we use to go out and combat this phenomena. Uh, we have staff outside on occasions when it's exceptionally bad, uh, hand applying sand onto the rail. And of course we train and develop our drivers to adopt a defensive driving technique which complements the safe and reliable running of the trains. So what exactly do we put on the rails to prevent it? So the substance that the vehicle behind me or the bigger railhead treatment train puts on is a substance that is really similar to wallpaper paste with sand put in and it's been developed for about the last 20 years in Great Britain but we like our um, colleagues in Network Rail use the latest form of that that gives us the best friction 